Baron Von Slick. Oh, actually, Van Slick. I don't know, you guys who don't come in the chat room, I have to tell you, whenever I play Ramstein, the Baron interprets all their lyrics. I don't know how he knows that. But then he's got a Van and a Slick in his name, so that might explain it. The Baron looks after the chat room and is such a big help to me. Uh, as I said earlier today, I don't, my memories have kind of fizzed out because uh, I lived through the seven years. <laughs> and so, uh, my memory kind of melted uh, one night while doing an acid trip. <laughs> I'm only teasing, I've never touched drugs in my entire life. Uh, there's a couple of things I want to do. Slaves are getting ready. Now, I'm going to tell you a secret. Is there anybody listening? I was just thinking. You guys are great dancers, by the way. You are. No wonder you call it her and hers. You guys dance really superbly. Very smart. Very nice. Her and hers, by the way, for those of you in the chat room, there they are. Uh, from time to time, we all go and visit a, a fan website for uh, that old radio station that used to be called CFNY. There's a fan site called spiritofradio.ca. We all go there and we visit it. There's so much to read. There's all kinds of audio stuff. It's an incredibly great site uh, for stuff about CFNY and where all the people who used to be part of CFNY have gone. And uh, are you, I can't see, there he is. Come on in here. Come on in here, Steve. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Scott McClain. Uh, when CFNY decided to play Madonna, I was already in British Columbia being really bored. Yes, I was. I loved the coast for the first little while. And then I was sitting on the beach, and I realized that you don't tan on the beach in British Columbia. Not in the lower mainland, anyway. You rust. <laughs> when CFNY broke down, uh, there were a lot of people who did demonstrations for the CRTC and a lot of people send in their, their paraphernalia, you know, the cups and the jock straps and whatever else people had. And uh, Scott led a parade of people who stood up and said, no, we don't want this radio station to change. Unfortunately, it didn't work. <laughs> However, Scott then, Scott then set up the spirit of radio.ca, have I got that right? Yeah. And uh, he, he now lives in Cleveland. He went there because he heard that I was in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And, and, and I am, and so he thought, I gotta go to Cleveland so I'll be close to Marsden. Because it was easier than Vancouver. And, don't you love that I suddenly bragged there? Don't you love that little ego moment there that I had about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? <laughs> Yes, I am. <laughs> I mean, there are two different people. Uh, anyway, uh, Scott now lives in Cleveland, and he continues to maintain the spirit of radio. What are those boxes that they've got? I've got boxes over here. I guess about 12 years ago, we had a little union of CFY people at the government, which I hear is now in the ruins. It's going to be a condo. So we set up this little CD, I know it was a little, uh, somebody by our, our, our dear departed Don Burns did a lot of this, and some guy named David Mars had something to do with this. So I was over at Don's house uh, a couple years ago, and Don said to me, no wait, I've got these boxes of hundreds of these CDs left in this reunion, you should take them, so they stopped cluttering up my basement. So I took them and they've been cluttering up my basement. And uh, 
So I said to David, I said, why don't I bring them? Because maybe people want to have them. They'd like to have them. They've got, you know, we've got all kinds of pictures, and we've got some uh, air checks from back in the day, and some, some good stuff. So I brought them along. We've got boxes of them. You're welcome to take as many as you like. Yeah. I'm with you on the take as many as you like, but could we start with like one or two for each until everybody's got one? Because yeah. otherwise, you know, Cosmos dance over there and take 200 of them. <laughs> well, he doesn't have a computer anymore, he has to do something. Uh, <laughs> so, Scott, I really appreciate it. I, you know, I'm not even sure if I have one of these. Wow, was it, when, when did we do that? I don't even remember. 2003. Whoa, oh, I was only 17. I do it in metric. Scott, thank you so much. Uh, first, happy birthday. Ah, uh, thank you. wife here taking pictures of us. I bet they're going to show on some damn website, aren't they? This is my wife, Holly. Everyone's seen the dancer. Say hello to Holly. We drove all the way up from Cleveland just to come here tonight. So. Uh, so anyway, as soon as I finish what I have to do, because I've got two important things to do. And as soon as I do, then I... Are you going to be over there? Or? Right there, uh, uh, Thomas and Igor. There. You know Igor. Uh, okay, the, the second thing I want to do is uh, thank you, Scott. I really appreciate it. And uh, Scott deserves another round of applause simply because. Uh, as everybody knows, uh, the last Friday, as I was finishing my little show on, oh, my big show, sorry, uh, on nythespirit.com, I had a uh, telephone call from the home of someone who I love as a brother. And I was uh, advised that he had had a massive heart attack and had put on his wings. His name is Don Burns. We have purposely placed pictures here tonight because we want you to remember this guy. He was an amazing part of radio across North America, both in the US and in Canada. And as you know, he was also the guy who took over CFNY by my choice when I left to uh, go into retirement. Uh, Retirement, I found kind of boring, so I didn't, I only did it for a year or two. And then I discovered that retirement is for people who don't like their jobs. We shall all miss Don greatly. He did a show uh, on nythespirit.com. Last night, I did a show, a live show for Friday because I was going to be here and I couldn't do my Saturday. And uh, so we, we did a nice presentation for him on the air. And, well, it's not the air anymore, it's the internet. And uh, we played his final show that he had just happened to record because he thought he was going away. We didn't know how far away he was going. So tonight we salute Don Burns. I have to tell you, yesterday, uh, Igor and I went to the funeral. Actually, uh, uh, Rob Stewart was there. It, it was, I don't know if anybody else was there, but it was standing room only. The place was jam-packed uh, in a funeral home. Now, normally in a funeral home, when people speak, it's all very sad. And it's just not, oh, I remember. Don Burns' funeral was totally different. 
It was hosted by his friend Eddie from Buffalo, New York. And uh, Eddie is a professional comedian. <laughs> and I don't think he was three sentences into the beginning of the ceremony when he had everybody in the room rolling in the aisles with his incredible timing and his subtle humor. It was an amazing event that went on for about an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes. And I was worried that there was, it was so much fun that maybe, maybe it was not right. It was a funeral. There was a gun and a cute little bottle there. Uh, and then Don's brother, who by the way, is one of the top heart surgeons in the United States. He went up to speak. He was the funniest guy there. He had everybody just rolling on the floor. He's told some stories that, well, I'd have to ask permission to tell. Because of course he had known Don all his life. It was an incredible afternoon and an incredible evening. Don Burns was an incredible fellow who will live on somehow through NY the Spirit. If you have a drink. Gone. Now I got one more little thing. I, I really want to thank everybody who has joined us at nythespirit.com. Tonight was about introducing the DJs, one of whom, of course, was Don Burns, one of whom was Ivor Hamilton. Ivor was here this afternoon, he couldn't be here tonight. Uh, he was here this afternoon, everybody had a good time chatting with him. And of course our other DJ, uh, apart from my humble self, was Rob Stewart, ladies and gentlemen. is that his fingernails are black. <laughs> are you having a goth moment? What's going on? Either that or you're gay, I don't know what it is. I can say that, it's okay. I can be gay for one night, that's okay. <laughs> okay, Kim, Kim, you didn't hear that, did you? You said that's what they all say. I can't I do not And so Rob Stewart is, is doing incredible shows. And I, I, I primarily would choose DJs to be part of NY The Spirit. But Rob has such an interesting history in, 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 in the music with vis a vis and this and that. Yeah. E -E the Electronic Dream Factory, and so many others. Uh, I can't remember all the names. Ear Candy, vis -a -vis, EDF, uh, The Cynics. Uh, shit, I can't remember them either. You can't keep a game. No, Slave, I don't know. So, I chose Rob because I wanted to get on the, I wanted to get out there how a musician hears and feels music. Rob has delivered a hundredfold. I hope you listen to his show at nythespirit.com, Rob Stewart. Uh, I'm just gonna talk one more little bit and then I'm, what time is it? Anybody know? Party. Okay, we're party. gonna do that. Party. It's party. Okay, we're gonna be fine. Because the slaves are coming up. I, I said I was gonna tell you a secret. The secret is the slaves have a new guitar player tonight. And I've just been advised by several people who have seen. I have that night sometimes too. <laughs> I heard somebody say that Niagara 
Falls for pros up, and it was hard. They thought they'd change the name to Viagra Falls. <laughs> and thank you. Uh, anyway, uh, they have a new guitar player, and three people tonight who have seen this guitar player work have told me that the band has been raised up 10 more points. I can't even imagine that being possible, but apparently it is. Hi there, Sumners. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to uh, my business partner, my friend, and the guy who, for the last 19 months, has helped me build nythespirit.com, ladies and gentlemen, Igor Luki. Uh, Igor, I know you have a lot of things you'd like to say. <laughs> In case you can't tell, I'm teasing him. Igor's a little shy. Uh, the, the entire back end of NY the Spirit, including the incredible design of the cassette player, was thanks to this gentleman, Igor Lokin. Thank you, Igor. It's been wonderful. Earlier he said, I said, I'm going to introduce you. He said, don't call me up on a stage. <laughs> I can't resist that kind of intensity. Anyway, uh, we're, I'm going to leave you for a few minutes. Slaves are going to set. And then we're going into space. Get yourself a couple extra drinks, because you won't want to leave once this starts. And thank you very much. Thank you all, I really appreciate it. I love that you're with us at NY The Spirit, and you're here for the birthday. Thank you so much.